this March 2023 and I'm reading a brand new Omega magazine. It is twen almost 20 years, next year it's 20 years since Commodore went bankrupt and still people care enough about this computer to keep magazines and hardware manufacturers alive. It even still gets software updates for the operating system. What is it with the nostalgia trip uh, with the Amiga that make it so popular? I have the same feelings for this old computer. And I've tried to remake uh, the setting I had with uh, my Amiga back in the days, but with uh, modern software, modern computer, uh, and with browsers that still works today. I have bought myself this Checkmate 1500 Plus case, this brand new official Amiga keyboard, and I managed to find this very nice cherry and a mouse for it. So I wanted to give you a sneak peek how my setup work. Show you how it's done. So this is uh, my desktop. Uh, it is uh, a Linux distro with the XFCE, uh, which I've is installed a window manager theme. As you can see, it mimics uh, uh, the way um, the Amiga looked and behaved and uh, you can hide a window like that and you can make it uh, full screen and you can close it just like on the real Amiga uh, and as you maybe uh, noticed I have the red cursor that uh, the real Amiga had so what I've tried to achieve with this is um, a natural evolving from the Amiga 4000 I had, which have uh, had a cyber graphics uh, graphics card and all the upgrades you can put in it, um, and with uh, tons of add-ons for Workbench. So I'm not trying to mimic uh, a plain Workbench 3.1. I'm trying to mimic uh, um, somewhat around what I used to have, which was um, a workbench with uh, Opus Magellan and lots of hacks on it for different uh, looks and tasks and uh, etc. So oh, that was my goal, but I've, I've kept some of the um, uh, old things uh, from the original Amiga. As you can see, I used the uh, Topaz font uh, as well. So it's these small things that brings me back uh, and makes me get the same joy I had when sitting down in front of computers in the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, so in a way, I'm trying to make computers fun again. So. Mostly a nostalgia trip, and uh, not really an uh, Amiga demonstration, it's more a how to bring me back into what I liked about the Amiga on a modern system. So I do have a modern browser with Firefox, uh, so I can open any modern page. Um, but what I've done uh, is I've made um, a lot of uh, small scripts and uh, uh, Amiga setups inside uh, images. Uh, that way I can launch uh, real Amiga software directly uh, from this menu. So if I press uh, Personal Paint, it's not fast. I'm, I'm 
I will admit, but it, it works. And I can load a picture and every, everything works. And to exit, I press F12 and close the emulator. I also have Deluxe Paint installed. And here is Deluxe Paint. And I can uh, load graphics. I think I have something in here that works. I need to find something I can open. Yes, uh, it had to change the image format. But uh, uh, the reason I wanted to open was that to show you that this file is available here. As you can see, this is the same files. And uh, you see these info <laughs> files? That's uh, the Amiga that make them inside the Amiga when I save them from the Lux Paint. So I have integrated uh, my file system on uh, my Linux computer into uh, FSUI that is running uh, uh, this, uh, this software. Um, most of us that used uh, Amiga back in the day used the directory opus. I find this program many years ago that is named Worker that mimics it quite well. It looks like it and behaves like it. And you can make your own uh, buttons that do the things you need the most. Uh, yeah, just like you can with Directory Opus. So it's a good clone. Of course we have a good um, module player and we can play Sorry if that was a bit loud. This is an old skin for Amiga that I found. We can of course make music as well uh, with ProTracker. And just like um, the looks paint, um, I can s uh, find. Uh, oh, sorry, there. I can find my uh, the same modules I have in my Linux uh, folders inside here and open them. So I can open the same module we played outside. we can study how they used to make music back in the days or make our own. Of course using an old school feelish computer wouldn't be the same without using IRC. I actually never left IRC so I, I still use it daily. Um, but I found that uh, XChat is um, made from uh, uh, Amirk, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, A-M-I-R-C, Amirk, I think that is the correct way, uh, mimics that quite well, and Hexchat is a fork uh, of, uh, of Hexchat, that works well, it does the same things that I used to have in Amirk with uh, latency and uh, show the people with op status in the channels just like back in the days let's quit before someone say something 
of course you can always visit um, uh, BBSs just like you could before. It seems particle BBS is having a problem. So bad demo, but I couldn't log in anyway because it will show you my username and password actually. So let's close that. And uh, one of the cool things with this being a uh, proper new new school computer is that we can see how it went with those people going the DOS way back in the days, the Intel guys. So I've installed DOSBox that can uh, show us what they are up to this day. And I've installed some modern games. Uh, the kind of games they like with the, this is Jones in the fast line. I'm not, I, I will not start it, uh, but uh, but you can. I just wanted to show you, and uh, as a bonus, we can revisit the the later Amiga days after Commodore went bankrupt when uh, there were still hope for a future with the uh, Amiga OS uh, four and Amiga OS four point one. So I've installed Amiga OS four point one visit that as well. I never had uh, a, a new generation Amiga back in the day. I did have a power PC in my class classic uh, Amiga. So this is uh, Amiga was 4.1. Ignore that sound I think uh, the floppy emulation is on. So this was what was supposed to become the future of Omega was browsers that was quite a lot faster than those on uh, classic Amigas. Um, inside here I'm uh, emulating a PowerPC 604 and a Picasso graphics card. I never really found a use for Amiga OS 4.1 but um, that's probably because I never visited it and everything I need is in classic uh, in the classic Amiga. I never was into gaming. I was always into the productivity part of the Amiga but uh, I, I, I did have one game that um, I spent too much time on, which is the settlers. So it's Friday and I poured myself a beer. So it's time to battle it out. So, that will be my Friday. I hope you have a nice Friday as well. And uh, I hope you get some inspiration. Maybe you had a different uh, system that brought you joy. I just wanted to show you that you can relive that moment, but in a modern way. So, it's, um, it's worth a try. Uh, try it out yourself. I'm sure you can find Atari uh, themes as well, uh, or whatever you preferred back in the day. So, have a good one. Goodbye.